Okay, so let me tell you, I don't have a driver's license, and I don't plan on getting one. In fact, I have a bit of a problem with cars, and I really do enjoy cycling much more. Uh, let me tell you why. So, the five problems we're going to be talking about are environment, enjoyability, cost, uh, traffic jams, and... Okay, so let's start with environment. Uh, in order to get the carbon footprint right, I'm going to quote one of my favourite electronic YouTubers called Electro Boom. Uh, he has bought an electric car in Canada to replace his old gasoline or diesel car, a Toyota Prius. Uh, he replaced it with a Tesla and talked about the emissions. Right. Okay, so in this photo, uh, which actually is a screenshot taken from a video of him, uh, in which he shows off his uh, electric car. He actually shows a little graph uh, on which you can see that yes, electric cars do get better over time uh, but they do take more uh, carbon footprint to manufacture and so some people tell that uh, electric cars are better for the environment and thus are uh, uh, your best choice when it comes to transportation. Well in that case let me tell you that a bicycle is even better for the environment because it only takes a teeny tiny amount of carbon footprint to manufacture and then produces a flat slope because the energy that is needed to uh, cycle is already inside of you anyway. And in addition if you have an electric bicycle like an e-bike its energy is partly stored in batteries but that doesn't create a manufacturing carbon footprint a teeny tiny little bit, like almost a statistical error and then create a very tiny slope that's again like nothing, it is negligible. So in any case a car is much worse for the environment than a bicycle, even EV cars. Let me also tell you a little bit about this thing called lifespan and obsolescence. You see electric cars or gasoline cars for that matter eventually need to be replaced because their components just wear out while with a bicycle that almost doesn't happen uh, basically the components can be replaced individually and thus you get basically an infinite lifespan it's practically infinite uh, yeah like even very old bicycles are still running today in the Netherlands let's take the environmentalism f out for now and talk about something personal yeah, I really enjoy cycling around the city or uh, a bicycle vacation, whether it be alone or with someone like-minded. And let me tell you why. But just to start, I'm a very active person and I really enjoy being like active while going from place A to place B uh, or just a round trip. And I just really don't like the idea of being stuck in a seatbelt inside of a thing that moves solely to control a steering wheel if there is any. Uh, I really just want to uh, give all the energy or most of the energy needed uh, to go from point A to point B. And second of all, during such a bicycle trip, especially a long distance trip, I might come across things that I've never seen before, in unique scenery or a unique place that's right in the middle of nowhere. You wouldn't get that in a car if you're on a highway which are just those boring straight routes where everyone is travelling way too fast uh, for me as well. I'm a very, very uh, slow kind of person as well. Then there is this entirely different topic that still comes to a point of both environment and enjoyability and that is traffic jams yeah being stuck in a traffic jam isn't the most fun thing to do neither the most environmentally friendly especially in a gasoline car but it needs some special attention uh, basically because when you're in a car you're both at risk of being in a traffic jam yourself and contributing to the traffic jam problem yeah, as a whole uh, yeah and I want to do neither of those. Uh, particularly, uh, I have been in, my, uh, in traffic jams uh, before uh, in, in someone else's car, in a highway. Everything would stand still and wait and run stationary until the 
pseudo crossing is finally over. I really don't believe, by the way, that building more highways is the better way to solve traffic jams. Uh, because building more highways and more lanes, uh, you have the risk, a uh, very high risk, almost certainty, that people would otherwise never take a car, such as myself, would uh, have no choice but to, because it would destroy other kinds of transportation, uh, or because it would be quite unquote better. Yeah, I really don't want to be contributing to that problem. Also, on a bicycle, I have neither problems, of course. Uh, yeah, a bicycle takes up far less speed on a road, and, of course, uh, has to deal with far less uh, interference in general. And it takes much quicker to accelerate on a bicycle compared to a car, even in very slippery weather, which is why uh, the only delay, true delay, that is unwanted uh, could be a red traffic light, of course. Sometimes you might want to stop on a bicycle trip uh, because you would need some food or relaxation or just want to enjoy the uh, landscape you are in, which is entirely possible, <coughs> except that it's impossible on a car <coughs> where either driving a traffic jam or you park because you have to park uh, on your destination or because you need to again get some food or just refueling. So next up we move to costs. To, to drive a car is very expensive. Of course you need to get your driver's license which costs money. Uh, for which you need to take driver's lessons which costs money. Uh, but are very important to keep the road safe by the way. Uh, of course you then buy your car which is again a very expensive thing. Even second hand cars are very expensive. <laughs> uh, Refueling comes up top, really inspections, which are mandatory in many countries in Europe. Uh, again, to keep the road safe, very important, but yeah, they're very expensive. Uh, reparations when needed. Um, taxes. Some countries even include uh, kilometre rating or congestion charges. All costs that are completely absent, or at least much lower on a bicycle. Uh, I almost forgot to mention parking. Uh, uh, when you're in a car, you have to pay for every hour or sometimes even a minute you park. While on a bicycle, in, in Utrecht at least, they have uh, this regulation where the first 24 hours of parking are worth zero euro or whatever. Uh, you don't have to pay for them. There's also the other costs which are far lower. A uh, bicycle is cheaper. Really inspections and reparations when needed are cheaper. A bicycle needs to be maintained less often, has a longer lifespan as mentioned before, when maintained properly and even when not. Uh, yeah, they... Again, the energy comes from you yourself, uh, except in the case of e-bikes, but even then the charging is pretty much all the time free <laughs> and uh, you don't need to pay for any additional taxes or congestion charges or anything. So there's really lots of financial incentives to cycle instead of drive as well. Uh, and I almost forgot another thing which I'm going to be talking about right now after one second of silence. And that is of course health benefits of cycling versus driving. Because again you're actively uh, putting energy in going from point A to point B instead of just passively sitting on a chair, probably controlling a steering wheel now, but even that might be gone within a couple of years when self-driving cars become a thing. A more activity in your life me means less risk of type 2 diabetes, obesity, uh, heart attack and so many other uh, health problems uh, which are often related to driving because again that's pretty much an inactivity uh, yeah oh and let's also talk about the fact that you are not putting uh, poisonous gases into the air which is much better for the environment in your area as well uh, which is of course better for the inhabitants health 
Uh, so you, by cycling, you're not only improving your own health, but that of others as well, potentially. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.